Obamacare might be full steam ahead, but Bernie Sanders says it doesn't go far enough. The presidential candidate is pushing for a single-payer system, and Scott says that will push us even further towards Greece. Scott. Well, this is a funny thing. Bernie Sanders, who hails from Vermont, which is a state that rejected the socialized medicine idea recently, it's pretty interesting that he's pushing this. Now, if you're all for commoditized medicine, as I like to call it, where you're going to kind of be going to Walmart uh, to, say, get your uh, leg casted, yeah, then I'm all for it. But I'll tell you what. If you want to lose access to your doctor again, if you want to possibly lose access to your plan again, have this general Medicare fund for everybody. We can all compete for the same doctors, the same services. It's not my opinion. I want it. You know, Lisa, so far this thing has been so amazing. All it's done is the premiums have gone through the roof. Deductibles have gone through the roof. We've got an economy with a whole bunch of part-time workers. And now Bernie Sanders would like to take that same thing and, and maybe put it on steroids. Right, and that's socialism. And look, a wise woman once said that the problem with socialism is eventually you run out of other people's money. Look, two of all federal spending in 2014 went to entitlement programs. We can't afford Obamacare, and we most definitely cannot afford a single-payer system. Jerry? I got to tell you, you, you want to have universal health care? Okay, let's take the VA as our model. How well has that worked? Not at all. And when it comes to bending the cost curve, the president originally promised that your health care under Obamacare would cost you the same as a, as a cell phone service, right? Not so much. Not unless it was gold-plated. It's just not working. Although, you know what, Charlie, when he said bend the cost curve, he could have been talking about higher. I mean, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't necessarily say it was going to go down, did he? He didn't. Yeah, if you notice, he left that little part out. I, I think what's fascinating about it, this is the political aspect, is that where Bernie, what Bernie Sanders probably knows he's not going to be president, and what he's probably trying to do is push Hillary Clinton to the left of this. Now, a lot of people always thought that President Obama's plan, it's really sub mandated insurance, it's not quite socialized medicine, uh, that that was just an interim step towards a single right. payer uh, system because he knew he couldn't get that right up front and that the Democratic Party, if it does win and if it has to get both houses oh. of Congress, may go, for that, may, and may go for that single payer by Bernie Sanders pushing Hillary Clinton further to the left on this. Adam, uh, you know, I think you like maybe or you might think that there's some good benefits with respect to, to single payer, but I got to tell you, so far what we've seen from Obamacare hasn't been that great. And I think the American people would be very afraid if we went to a system again, just like the European system. It, it's not working out very well over there, particularly if you have a serious ailment. Forget about getting a cast in Walmart. What if you need some serious medical work done? Uh, right now, everyone you, in Europe comes to America. You know, you know, Jerry made a, a really interesting point that I, I hadn't thought of before when she talked about the VA. I, I think you may be onto something, Jerry, which is that Americans are not very good at socialized medicine. It probably is not for us. That said, to Hallelujah. Bernie Sanders' I'm point, I'm so glad to hear you say that. We got a Fox News alert. Well, say. But, but I want to point Let's out his, his larger <laughs> point. Wait, wait, wait. This is but, not but, the but. only European country with a single-payer system. There are lots of them, including the U.K., where it works well, where the economy is strong. And, and my only point here is there isn't, one, there isn't only one way of doing things. All right, well, what do you make of that, Charlie? Um, you know, listen, I, 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 I'm not an expert at the U.K. healthcare system, but I do know one thing. Their economy is not that strong. I mean, the entire European economy, which is social, which is quasi-socialism throughout, is not very strong. I know Elton and John and recently uh, but had our something like quasi-socialism by that Adam, definition. When people more in the U.K. need something really done, some serious work done, they don't get it done yeah, there. They, they get on the there. jet and they come to New York or somewhere in America and they well, get it huge done. huge wait times, long wait times, we, we cost can, overruns. It's not far from I and understand. they spend more money on health care than the U.S. does. Yes, as hold on guys, a second, go. My, my point is, as we're becoming more more socialist in terms of medicine, I mean, it's a mess even before Obamacare, uh, you, you get doctors, doctors don't want to be doctors anymore. Yeah, no, it's a, the whole thing is really imploding on itself and is bad. Hey, my thanks to Charlie, Jerry, and Lisa. You guys are fantastic. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Now, who needs to wait for fire?